All right. So before we get started writing our um, feature articles, there's some work that needs to be done. And that's what we are going to be talking about today. So what do you want your reader to learn? This is what we're going to be talking about today. So before we get started, this is to share our opinion, we want to include true information. So we're going to need to research to be able to do that. And AJ, make sure you put that down. Feel us have our head up, please, so we can um, be ready for our, when we do this on our own. So what we're going to be talking about today is what do I want my reader to learn from my feature article? And similar to this. And you are going to insert your topic, except yours is going to be done on paper. So you're going to be writing this instead of um, typing it. And is how they imitate other animals. So imitate means how they can change how they look, Leland, to look like another animal. So in my feature article, I want my, my readers to learn three different things. And I'm gonna plan out those three questions. I want them to learn how or why do mimic octopuses imitate other animals. That's the first question I need to research. I also want to research how do they take other shapes? Because they can change how they look. So I'm wondering how do they do that? And the last thing I want to know, what animals do they imitate? So I know a little bit about it, but I don't know enough to write a lot of information around this. So I chose a topic that I know a little bit about. I have a basic understanding, but Charlotte, I need to now research some of these to better provide my reader with more information. So this is the research I'm going to do today on my computer, and you're going to do this research today on your Chromebook. So the first thing that I want to do is go to KidRex. So I'm going to type in KidRex, which is also on your Google Classroom. If you, it's easier for you to find that. And KidRex is a um, safe, kid-friendly search engine. And into the search bar, I'm going to type in my very first question, which is, why do mimic octopuses initiate or imitate other animals? So I'm going to type in why do, and I had already researched this a bit, so I'm going to just click that, and I'm going to ask KidRex that question. Okay, so I'm going to search it, find out more true information about it. So I am going to click on this first one, and it's going to be a kind of a lot of reading, Harper. So I'm, I don't necessarily need to read the whole thing, but I want to find my most important information from this website, which is um, Bria. Why do they take shape of other animals? So let me read to find out. So it says, different animal species have evolved a number of ways to hide in their environments. Okay, so what was one of the reasons why I just read that they are, they take their, um, the shape of another animal? What did it just, what did I just read? So it said, it says different animal species have evolved a number of ways to hide in their environment. So what was that first reason that they take shape of a different animal? 
Jake? Yeah. So on my sheet, I'm going to write hide in environment. Third graders, is that a complete sentence, hide in environment? No, but that if I were to write out so many complete sentences, that would take me a while. Right now, I'm just getting my thoughts down. So I don't need to write right now in complete sentences. Eventually, I will turn these into complete sentences when I go to write my feature article. But right now, I'm just writing a few words per note to help me remind um, and jog my memory. So when it comes time to writing my feature article, I have that information ready to write into a complete sentence. So they used to hide in their environment. Let's keep reading to find maybe if there's another reason. Okay. It says, this seems... Um, so they live on the shallow sandy bottoms near river mouse, which are extremely exposed habitats with a lot of predators. They spend much of their time looking out from their burrows and foraging along the sandy bottoms in molted gra drab brown colors that blend in with their surroundings. This camouflage technique does a good job hiding from their predators as long as they don't move too much. So what was that word that they used that I can write? And what was a word or two that I can write from the information I just read to include in my notes? Tatum? Yeah, camouflage. So if I go back to here, I can also, let me double check how to spell that. C A M. Yeah, for this one, I'm gonna copy and paste it because my spelling isn't the best for that word. So they also camouflage. Okay. I'm going to keep reading. It's okay. I'll be able to see it. You're doing this with handwriting too. So it's a little bit easier. You don't have to toggle from um, screen to screen. You're writing these information. So it says, um, the mimic octopus has a brilliant solution to this problem. When swimming in open water, they take on black and white bands and trail their arms behind them like a flared poisonous spines of lionfish. So I just read a little bit more about how they take shape of another animal too, right? Which was one of my other questions. How did I read? Let me read that to you again. And I want you to listen, Waylon. You sit up, please. For how the animal takes shape. Jay, are you ready? So it says, they take on black and white bands and trail their arms behind them like the flared poisonous spines of a lionfish. So how do they mimic a lionfish? How do they do that? Jake, what did we read about? They um, their arms behind them, they make black. Yeah. So they put their arms behind them to make them look like spike, sp do they say spines? From the, yeah, from that fish that is poisonous. Okay, it says lionfish. When moving rapidly from place to place, they turn the molted brown of the sandy bottom, arrange their arms in leaf shapes. So they can also arrange their arms in leaf shapes. Why do you think they want to maybe look like leaves? What was that? Why would it be helpful for these? Right, they might want to look like a coral or other sort of leaf on the ground of the ocean floor. Yes, um, Callan? What was that? Yeah. Right. That's really why they use this type of um, pig shape, other shapes, to hide in their environment and camouflage, huh? All right. So then it says... Um, and leaf shape and and when attacked, the small and fiercely territorial. Uh, oh, here we go. This is also something that's interesting. So it says scuba divers report mimic octopuses resembling anemones, jellyfish, mantis shrimps, shrimps. Um. Feather stars, brittle stars, giant crabs, seahorses, crocodiles, snake eels, stingrays, and new branches. Um, and these imitate. Mm -hmm. So 
those were all, that answers my third question, right? Where I asked what type of animals um, they imitate. So I'm going to take these, this information and I'm going to record that into what animals do they imitate. So I have that information planned out for me, okay? Yeah, so in my writing, I'm going to use this, um, those different animals and make them into my own complete sentence. But when you're just taking down notes, if you want to re record, just like I did, some of those details from the reading, that's from your readings, that's totally fine. But I'm not going to copy word for word when I go to write my own. And we'll talk about that in our next lesson, how to take this information that we read about and turn them into complete sentences for our future articles. But right now, we're really focusing on finding information that we can include in our future articles. Field, can you stop, please? Okay. So let's say I wanted to know, I kind of want to know a little bit more about why they imitate other animals. So I might go back and find another article just to make sure I have, I want to have at least two to three different details for each of those questions, just to make sure I have a lot of good information to provide my reader. So. What I want to see, maybe I'll go this one, and the animal kingdom is packed with creatures that use strange and unusual methods to trick predators. So, what is that second? What is that other reason I just read that why they camouflage? Oh, Olivia, right to trick predators. So maybe you might even want to use more than one site to find that they trick predators all right so when i go to write my feature article i have all of this planning ready to go i have the questions i want my readers to learn about and then the information that supports those questions so third graders what you're going to do today is in just a second you are going to get your own planning guide and what i want you to do is fill out this first and second box so you're going to remind me about the specific topic you chose. And then you are going to come up with three questions that you want to ask and answer for your reader. And then you are going to research those three questions and include information that you can include in your feature article. But third creators, are you going to be writing full and complete sentences for this? No, just a few words. Like I wrote wrote hide in environment, camouflage, and trick predators. Those are just words that I want to use in my um, response, but those are not complete sentences yet, okay? This is just planning to get your thoughts down so when you go to write your feature article, it is a little bit easier since that information is already researched um, for you, all right? So with that, we are gonna get started. Um, one thing, that I noticed 